Hello everybody, it's Janice. Um, I am here to do my video of this bookmark that I made um, over the weekend. Uh, somebody asked if I would consider doing a video and of course I love doing my videos. So let's get started. Um, what I did was I just looked for some scraps of white and I happened to use purple just because I thought it went well with the Dusty Conquer Distress Ink that I'm going to be using. So basically um, I cut my scrap piece of white at six by two and a half and then I just cut this a quarter inch bigger which happens to be um, six and a quarter by two and three quarter. Okay so we won't need this right away because this is just going to be the mat. We're going to work with this piece of white here. First thing I did was I got my stamp set. This is a stamp set that close, in, uh, close to my heart used to carry a few years ago. I got it, gosh, it's probably been two or three years ago. And um, I don't use it very much, as you can see. And I just decided to play with it. It's called Treasure Life. And it has a neat poem on it. I'm going to use my Martha Stewart stamp press okay and it's gonna center it on here and I'm gonna use the scattered straw for this distress ink and I like close to my heart stamps because they're made of that high quality photopolymer so they ink really well, they make great impression, and I want it. These little feet are not very high, so you do have to decide where you want it before you set it down because it does stamp the image once you set it down. They're just not high enough. They need to be higher. Okay. All right, the poem says, may you have enough happiness to make you sweet, enough trials to make you strong, enough sorrow to keep you human, and enough hope to make you happy. Isn't that nice? I like that poem. Okay, so I'm gonna take this one off, and then it's got a great assortment of beautiful flowers. And I have to say, it was inspired. I had I was reading over the weekend. I finished reading the book, um, The Hunger Games, and I just was thinking about the main character. And she spends a lot of times time in the outdoors, in the woods, um, and I could just picture some of these flowers in the background and. Um, the region that it's set is the Appalachian Mountains and so I wonder I don't know if delphinium grow there but I know when I lived in Massachusetts delphinium were some of my favorites and that's what this blue flower is but you know what when I did it I wasn't chatting so for one I was concentrating what I did was I used bundle sage for all of the stems and I actually just inked the entire flower first and then just stamped over it with the blue color. And you can do that too with these inks. And I'm trying to see where I want it. Okay, so I'm just going to wipe this off just with a baby wipe. And then my next flower is going to be something that kind of looks like maybe some daisies. Uh, I'm going to do that one yet. I'm going to do the taller one. Okay, and so what I did was I took the bundled sage and I just went ahead and inked the entire flower. And then I came in with, say, the, um, 
This is the scattered straw. Okay, so if, oh my, you're all wet. Hello. All right, um, why don't you go ahead and, are you okay? My son just walked in soaking wet. They're playing with, or I should say, I need my hands to say they're fixing the sprinkler system. <laughs> so, hence, he is all wet. Okay, I put the wrong cover here. Okay, so I'm going to do another one. Hopefully I can get through this before they come in with their boisterous selves. Okay, and then I want two of the shorter flowers. And again, you may have you may have a stamp set in your collection that would work for this. I was checking out their catalog today because I have a friend. Oops, that's the wrong color. Well, you know what? Let's see what happens if we tap it with the dusty Concord over top. Um, I have a friend who has a friend who sells close to my heart and their new um, idea book is my goodness beautiful so many beautiful images in that catalog so anyway I did not notice this one on there so I don't think it's available but like I said I mean you probably have something in your collection of stamps that would work and if you're not, if you're just, you've never owned any stamps, I highly recommend this company. They do a great job. They have beautiful, beautiful, and good quality stamps. Okay, and, oh, wait, there's one more flower. There is another thing that looks like a daisy. Another flower, and I'm just going to do the bundled sage first, and I'm going to use this lovely scattered straw. And it's going to go off a little bit. That's okay. Okay. So there we go. Now what I want to do is take my Versamark. I'm going to do a distress technique for the background. And these are just some, some pretty leaves. So yeah, The Hunger Games, great book if you haven't read it yet. My bookmark was inspired by it, as she does. The majority of the book, it takes place out in the, in the woods. And I'm not going to say anything about it, because I don't want to ruin it for anyone. So, if you like... Um, suspense and action <laughs> and thrills. It's a great book. I thoroughly enjoyed it. I'm reading the second one now. I'm on chapter two. So I may do some of that tonight. Okay. Oh, you know what I forgot to do? But you know what? It's okay. Never mind. When I did this originally, before I did this step, I went over this whole thing with the embossing pillow thingy, buddy, this thing. Because sometimes this ink, this distress ink stays wet for a long time and so 
it could tend to grab onto the embossing powder and I didn't want it to do that so but I forgot to do it because I'm too busy chatting with you guys and it's okay okay I'm gonna heat it now I got a new tweezers these were on clearance at Michael's can you believe that they were like 234 or something And they grab really, really tightly, just like my cutter, my tweezer bee ones. I like my We Are Memory Keepers ones, but they're just, they kind of ha have a loose hold on things. Okay, so this is all melting. Nicely. Love my heat tool, thanks to my neighbor, who I never see and I haven't had a chance to thank her properly. I need to just make her a card. She's the best. Okay. So, now we're going to take the bundled sage. And this is when the wow happens. This is called distress. I mean resist okay all of that beautiful embossing is going to resist this ink and you're going to be able to see that beautiful leaf pattern oops and the more ink you apply the better your image will show. You can kind of go lightly in the center and just stay heavy on the edges. That's it. That's the entire thing. And then all I did was add some crystal stickles to the center of a couple of the flowers. Nothing major. And then this gets adhered here. And I used, I found this Aileen's Tacky Glue glue stick at my favorite new place, Tuesday morning. And so what I did was I just kind of did a heavy application all along the edges. Yes, Adrian. Yes. Okay, come over here. Go in the pantry. It's on the floor. On the in the pantry, open that door. Just so that the You see it, honey? Okay. Good job. You're a good kid, Adrian helping daddy. Okay, and then I'm gonna do this. Okay, all right. So that's about it. That's the entire process. I'm just gonna take a cloth and just kind of go over in case there's any of that ink laying on top of the embossing and just kind of clean it up and that's it then just to take it up a notch I made three keys from the sentimentals cartridge I actually used the cartridge in my machine today okay scary moment my gypsy was acting up today I could not get it to respond to any kind of tapping that I was doing. I um, put the little po pokey tool in the back and reset it like three times. I called Provocraft. Again, I have to say they have amazing customer service. Their people are very patient. The woman, her name is Melissa. She did, she was wonderful to me and I am not a computer person. 
and she was very very kind so I I used my sentimental sentimentals cartridge in my machine today because I still have it my friend hasn't picked it up um, but this is the key that I used on page 37 and I cut it three times at three inches okay there's the key right there and I'm gonna make a nice big thick chipboard type piece let me cover this up so anyway right now my gypsy is as we speak sinking hopefully that's gonna do the trick she's just said you know just sink it up again and it is doing that so that to me is hope I have great hope that it's not like I'm gonna have to send it back to them and I'm gonna have to reload all of my cartridges which are separated among four people and you know they're friends so I can call them each and say please please let me have my cartridges that I sold to you so that I can reload them and anyway I'm hoping that that's not the case so please keep your fingers crossed okay so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna adhere these three together on top of each other and yes, this is a great technique to do whenever you want to create your own chipboard letters and alphabets and yeah chipboard letters and alphabets same thing chipboard elements I wanted to say why why do you have to clog This is actually Scotch Quick Dry in this bottle. And I think it's just the nature of, you know, Scotch Quick Dry because it is quick dry. So that's, I think, why it clogs. The glue that comes in that bottle does not clog as, as much, the multi liquid glue. But I've said this story so many times, but I know I have new people. Um, I had bought a bottle of Scotch Quick Dry when I was working at a crop because I left this at home. So I knew I had this, so I thought, well, let me just get this bottle so that I can show them what it's like and what it works. And then I found that they had made the tip even bigger than before. So it squirts out like crazy. I mean big old blobs because I squeeze it so hard I don't have a gentle squeeze I guess I'm a heavy squeezer so I put it in my bottle once I ran out of this glue I put it in there because I like that bottle because it has a very small tip and it clogs because of that so it's okay not a big deal all right, so now I've got a thick key here, chipboard looking key. Now, the other key that I use, I did a different, made a different key last time, and it had a little hole there, which is where I put the little jump ring through. Well, when I show you in a minute what I'm gonna do, you'll know what I mean. Hold on, let me get my. little tiny hole punch. I'm sorry, should have been better prepared. I thought I had everything on. Of course I didn't. Um, here it is. Here it is. Okay. So I'm going to make a little hole here. You know what? This thing is in the way. I can't see what I'm doing. You know the best thing to do? is to make yourself a little pencil mark. I always try to be a hero and just do it without a mark. And then I wish I had made a mark. Okay. All right, so now I have a little hole where I can put my little jump ring. These are from Tim Holtz Ideology. They're called Charm Clips. And I got them at Tuesday morning. And 
they are really easy to open. I got this tool set there too, this bind it all tool set for $14.99. I said that I wasn't going to do it and I was weak and I did it anyway. Okay, so then this little jump ring goes in here and I'm just going to get my little Okay. And so now, why did I do that? I was so excited to show you this. I haven't even painted it yet. Oh my goodness, I'm losing my mind. All right, let's go back here. All right, this time I'm gonna, last time I used the gold, I'm gonna use the copper this time. And I love it because this leaves a um, kind of like a weathered, antique old looking texture on it. I use my heat tool. Oh my gosh, another long video. Let's add a little bit more. And I'm going to use, I'm going to turn it over and do the other side. And this doesn't take that long to dry, so that's nice. Love this paint. Love these paint dabbers. So many things you can do with them.